Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at Chattanooga, Tennessee and why it is a great city to go visit. Chattanooga is a mid-sized town located among the mountains in Tennessee. Chattanooga is a great place to go see and explore. One reason I enjoy Chattanooga so much is the friendly vibe it has. It just feels like the people in the city want you to visit. Little things like a free shuttle. It is very clean and the people are friendly. In addition, there are great historical buildings to see, lots of restaurants to visit and explore, and it is very bike and pedestrian friendly. I recently stayed for two days in the city and didn't get in my car once. We walked or rode a bike everywhere. Let's take a look at some of the things to do in Chattanooga. Let's start with a main attraction. The city has an amazing aquarium. In fact, it is two aquariums that sit beside each other, a freshwater and saltwater. I have visited the aquarium over 30 times and I see something new every time. It also sits next to the IMAX movie theater, so you can watch an IMAX movie as part of the aquarium tour. Next, rent a bike. For $8, you can rent a bike and ride them from one station to another. There are over 40 stations which allow you to see the entire city. If you like baseball, the Chattanooga Lookouts is a minor league team of the Cincinnati Reds. They play from April to early September in a very relaxed and beautiful atmosphere. If you have younger children, they will love the Creative Discovery Museum. The museum contains art, music, and science areas, along with a water-themed zone called River Play and a rooftop exhibit, along with an inventor's workshop. I like to walk and run, especially around cities. The river walk downtown runs next to the river for over 13 miles. You can also take a riverboat tour. The Southern Bell has sightseeing tours and daily tours. You can also walk across the Walnut Street Bridge. The bridge was built in 1890, but now only allows bike and foot traffic. Once you cross the bridge, you can go to Coolidge Park. The park has large fields, a carousel, and lots of open fields where you can play frisbee, grab a bite to eat, or just relax. I always like a good zoo, so you can go to the Chattanooga Zoo. It is located inside the Warner Park. Warner Park has a small loop where you can run or walk on, and also a nice playground for young children. The zoo is growing, and I saw lots of excited children. The zoo has a nice petting area for younger children. There are lots of places to get a snack around Chattanooga, like the Cupcake Bakery. I don't have any affiliation with the Cupcake Bakery, I just like their cupcakes. Or you can even see a movie in the city if the weather turns nasty. In addition, you can drive 15 to 20 minutes to Raccoon Mountain, where you can go for a hike, visit caverns, or you could go visit Lookout Mountain. If you'd like to know more about Chattanooga, this playlist will help. And as always, Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.